Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie. Today I'm going to be sharing a haul from Timu. I am working with Timu in this video. Thank you very much, Timu. Um, I will have links and codes down in the description box to all of the items that I am sharing in today's video. So we are going to jump right into it. I have a lot of fun things that I really like I really got some good items that I am enjoying today so um, I'm gonna jump in with markers first so this is the 12 count marker this has like a nice plastic hard case that it comes in so nice for storage I did go ahead and test these out so that is this guy. So just a note, the color on the cap is much lighter than what it actually shows up on paper. I plan on using these and have like a lot of adult coloring books. So I wanna use these to add like touches on the pages, maybe some darker areas so I don't have to use a lot of color pencil just from different, you know, texture and shading. So I think these will work great for that. Um, I do love the color variation that I got. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm since this one was a lot darker, I'm going to assume the rest of these are really dark. Let's see what this guy looks like, though, just for curiosity. Yeah, this one matches because the color on the cap is pretty dark, but um, will work for what I need it to work for. And these... Um, I will have all the prices linked down below. So I like these. I'm gonna go to these next. There's 24 of these. And I tested, I think, oh, I should have left it out. Well, we'll just do another one, how about that? So this is like the dark blue. This is a very thin tip versus the big chunky one that we just had. This is, yeah, very thin. But again, will be nice to use on my um, pages in my coloring book or in a planner. I could use, I might use these in my planner and keep these for the coloring book since these are a lot finer. And then I could match these with like some of my themes that I use for um, like a monthly theme or weekly theme. Again, in a nice little storage bag. You could even, if, like I have a one of the rolling racks and it has these little tabs at the top. Sometimes I like to hang things off of the little pegs on the rack. So that's nice. Again, everything will be linked down below with all the prices. So I'm going to go in to this guy. I know the price of this guy. This was $19.99. This is a pen holder. There are 26 um, little loops on each page except for the very back page. So there's all the same till you get to the back and then there's a little less and then three larger loops. They all zip individually. And I like the zipper pulls. I love this feature. It lays nice and flat, but when you want to carry it, this like slides up here and you have a nice little handle. It's sturdy, so I think it would be, you know, very protective of whatever you have in there. I'm thinking of using this for colored pencils. Like I could do um, a page of all blue, all green, or if I have a, you know, a lot, I could do two sets of blue and then I mean it's gonna hold quite a few and then I could even put like my um, blender color pencils back here or the pencil sharpener I think this was the yellow rose option again like I said I'll have everything um, linked down below so be sure to check out that description box the next thing I have is a um, display book it says 
but it's basically just like this is like a frosted thick plastic and it has these clear pockets that are top loading I can get it open top loading pockets there's 30 of them and I'm gonna use them for this is a transfer sorry for the glare this is a transfer from Chalk Couture I'm a Chalk Couture designer um, so I wanted to be able to store these it fits perfect in there and be able to just flip through them nice and easily and then I can I'm gonna flip this over this way this was $4.19. I remember the price of this one too. Um, so once you uh, get everything in there, you can label it. This little piece comes out. You can trim your paper to match this dimensions and then slip it back in. You can label it on the front and the back and then even on the spine. So when you have it on the shelf, you can still see what you have. So I could like if I had a seasonal um, transfers in here. I could put like spring transfers or whatever. I think that was really cool. So, love this. I also grabbed my first paper pad. I have not ordered any paper from them before. This is the 6x6 paper pad, the Sea of Flowers. Guys, this was really inexpensive. This is $1.39 for 12 sheets. It is one-sided. But you could use like a circle punch and punch out these little pattern pieces and add those to um, a card or whatever your project is. You could trim this out and just use that and maybe put a sentiment on a card. That would be kind of cool. We'll go through the different um, patterns. There's like a till butterfly, a geometric, uh, purple flowers some stripes and I forget what this pattern is called I, I, I can't think of it so florals purple damask some polka dots another floral I love this one this would make I feel like there's two there it's it's thick paper so I feel like there's almost like two together can you hear that very thick um, this would be nice to do a six by six card and put like this is a a die that I ordered like that in the center that would be awesome another floral again you could put like a sentiment or a focal point here and do a six by six card and then another one of the we're gonna call it plaid I love the colors of this and I love how thick it is I mean I've bought some paper from um, like Walmart and Joann's and stuff and it is really thin but this is nice paper it's acid free so you could use this in scrapbooking in your scrapbooks so yeah it's 160 GSM paper love that I'm gonna definitely order more of these since I've showed this already we will go to this guy this is a Happy Mother's Day die set. I did not try it out. This was $2.89. I love the flowers. And again, I think it would be really cool to make a card with this on that, ooh, um, on that one paper that had like the center centerpiece. So love that. Then I got some little purple hearts. They're like iridescent. I'll take them out of here so we can see them a little better. I started making these little like um, pen pouches and makeup bags and I want to make like little charms to go in the zipper pool. So I thought I would get some, start gathering some beads and stuff to start doing that with. I don't know if you can see that. Those are really pretty. It does have like the little hole at the top so you can make beads out of them purple is my favorite color so I went with purple <laughs> I have some bags I'm going to put butterflies on and I thought these would be really cute to to make the charms for um, those particular bags these were only 79 cents and I don't know if it says how many you get in here but quite a few 
Next up, we will do this guy. This is an interesting thing. It came with two extra blades. This is a cutter, and I plan on using it. Sometimes I print, there's your, like your little blade. I print um, stickers for my planner that I can um, cut myself. And I have a silhouette and I've like used it twice. I have not mastered it at all. But I thought some of the, I saw someone using this to cut out some stickers and like, especially like circle ones. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. It did come with two extra blades. Let's see what, this was $3.39. This is the black option, kind of stuck in there. Um, Come on, here we go. So, I'm not sure what the difference is or if these are just extras of the same size. Maybe, oh no, this one's smaller. Oh, it's different angled. That's interesting, I wonder what that means. I will have to test that out and see how it goes. Yeah, so that's what I intend to use it for. You could probably use it in, you know, other cutting out die cuts or something um, in your card projects or scrapbooking. So it just seemed interesting and I saw somebody using it in a video so I wanted to give it a try. So next up I have just the wax seal attach like you get the handle separate it attaches to the press piece and it's just like really pretty rose flowers. I thought this would be nice once I make my Mother's Day cards to seal the back of the envelope with. This is really pretty floral. Um, this was $4.19. It's very heavy, so it's a nice quality one. Um, sometimes you can get them and they're really lightweight, but this is like very, very weighted, very nice. So yeah, really pretty trying to get it to where you can kind of see it pretty floral pattern I like that it's oval too instead of circular all right next up I have and I'm not going to open this I got some storage for it like these are stackable this is what it looks like once you get it um, popped up and put together I think it just it's super simple you pull up the sides and then the ends fold up I thought about using this because um, it'll be this wide here, putting maybe some dowel rods down in the middle and storing some of my memory decks cards in here. That would allow plenty of room in case people have some overhang on the side. I do a lot of crafty swaps and I want a way to store those. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to use it in my craft room. Um, for my stamp sets. I could also line those up down through here or even this way for some of my wider um, stamp sets. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing with it, but tons of possibilities. It was only $1.69. So love that. And then last but not least, we had a tragedy happen. So this was two dollars and nine cents. Comes with a little base that you just put it on so it will rotate. It's supposed to, I don't have it snapped in so it would be flat but it just rotates around. It's for your pens and pencils and it got damaged in um, shipping. So I have reached out to customer service before had no issues, a quick response. I did the chat. He fixed me right up. Um, I had something else that came damaged. Um, the package was really, really beat up though. So they were just rough on it in transit. But otherwise, um, I really do like this. Very roomy. And I like that these are taller so that I could put some of my taller, like have these Tombos that would fit in there nicely. And then I could do my shorter ones and kind of go down from there. But yeah, this will be nice once I'm, I'm just going to shoot them an email and 
see what they say. Like I said, I've had to deal with customer service before and it was a breeze. I didn't have any issues. They're very prompt and took care of me like that. So, um, I'll reach out to them and get this taken care of, but I really like this. So I think that is everything I got in my haul. I have to say, I think my favorite thing is this paper, you guys. I'm surprised at, I mean, how, what a good quality it is. And the colors are vibrant. Nothing looks like blurry or misprinted. It's beautiful pattern. I, yeah, I like this. I can't wait to make some cards with this. So, again, thank you to Timu for sending me these products, and you will find all the prices that I didn't mention in the video down below, as well as a code, so be sure to check that description box out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you, and give this video a thumbs up to keep my content flowing in the algorithm. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.